Hello everybody, Final Kempach here. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. In this video, guys, I will show you Condition Spider Tournament. We are getting new Spider Tournament today, guys. And we have to use the Demon Spawn, Undead, Dark Elf, and the Night Revenant faction on this Spider Tournament. I will show you guys two different teams. Uh, you guys can use it. One of them is a uh, early game friendly on the stage 20. The other one is the Heart Spider 10. Let me show you guys the first team. Uh, Real quickly, first thing, guys, we are gonna go spider normal 20. So, all we need is decrease defense champion. But if you cannot build your cold art high critical damage, then you guys need a weakened champion as well. I actually checked the list, I don't think there is any single champion can cast decrease defense and weaken debuff from this faction. But correct me if I'm wrong, guys, beside the Lydia. Lydia can work instead of the Ghostborn, guys. You guys don't need a Ghostborn, by the way. I just use the Ghostborn because his decrease defense debuff is the guarantee. But Lydia over there can also work if you cannot get high critical damage on your cold art. Okay, that's very important. Obviously, Lydia has a 3% chance to be failed uh, her debuff. That's why I'm using Ghostborn. But again, you don't need a Ghostborn. If you can build your ghost, uh, cold arts high critical damage, you guys can use any decrease defense champion from this faction now let me show you guys how is the run looks like stage 20 my cold art have a high critical damage guys so with the decrease defense debuff only it's not a problem for the killing the boss this increase attack is not noticeable by the way guys don't worry like just decrease defense debuff will going to work so as you guys can see nine second stage 20 normal we are using basically dark elf uh, champion only which is they are part of the, the tournament they are not going to be fail guys theoretically you don't need a six star cold art as well uh, all you need to do high critical damage guys i will show you guys their gear real quickly let's run one more time so you guys can make sure it's working Like it's super easy to build them guys trust me let me show you guys their gear real quickly so ghostborn guys just fastest champion he doesn't need accuracy for this comp he's crit cap but you don't need it he just need to be faster than your entire team you know let's say your cold art is a uh, 160 speed so ghostborn can be under 70 speed again you don't need accuracy for the ghostborn but that's only for the ghostborn if you are going to bring another decrease defense champion or the lydia make sure they have at least 225 accuracy guys okay so ghostborn this skill is book of course otherwise it's not going to be 100 percent that's the important he's have a master guys but definitely doesn't matter this master is doesn't really matter on the ghostborn guys okay and the cold art very important thing on the cold art guys they need to be faster than 150 speed so make sure your speed faster than 150 that's all that's all you needed okay and this cold art stat looks like that i have like six percent ignore defense i'm not sure this is noticeable to be honest i'm not sure that's important but just showing you guys okay cold art only needs 70 percent crit rate 151 speed minimum 151 plus speed minimum and rest of them just critical damage guys if you guys struggling to reach high critical damage you guys can always go Flawless execution to get more critical damage. Let me show you guys the masteries. That's the cold art masteries. You guys can also use the same masteries on rest of your cold art. Blessing is like shape, like they have a phantom touch, guys. Like this blessing is uh, not going to be noticeable there. This team will work with no blessing as well. And again, your cold art doesn't need to be six star. Six star not gonna give them bonus, but five star will be much better because you can use them critical damage amulet so second cold art is the similar state guys 70 percent crit more than enough speed you don't need that much 151 speed only and critical damage this one is a little bit low critical damage you don't need a curse on them by the way for this comp you don't need it you are basically one shot the boss so you don't need it that's the number three cold art she also have around 280 C damage. And this is the last cold art, guys. Again, she don't even wear the banner, which is not important. And this is the last cold art uh, stat, guys. 
Again, they are masteries are not important. This one doesn't even have a masteries. This one have a giant slayer again, like totally of wrong masteries. If you guys going to give the masteries, make sure to copy this masteries, the first cold art I show. This is much better for your uh, cold art build, guys. All right, let's jump to the second build now. For the second build, guys, we are going to use Arix. We need the Arix, guys, and we need four piece slayer on her. That's very important. This is will not work if you don't have a four piece slayer on her. So Arix, but here's the thing, Arix will also going to farm food. But if you guys want to be make a point on this tournament, make sure your food champion also from this faction. So which factions are we talking about? Let me show you one more time. Corrupted Alliance faction we're talking about, guys. Demon Spawn, Undead, Dark Elf, and the Night Revenant. Our first team was using champion from Dark Elf, Calder from Dark Elf, Ghostborn also from Dark Elf. Again, you don't need a Ghostborn. Lydia can work. Any decrease defense champion can work on there. Make sure they are not negative affinity, okay? For here, we are all we need is Arix, guys, on the four piece Slayer set. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, make sure your foot champion, which is Arix, need a foot champion to make this team work, also from this faction. So my foot champion are from Demon Spam faction. So this is will be work. Uh, I think I forget to show you guys the AI for the first team. Let me show you real quickly. Very easy. Cosburn using Decrease Defense. Cold Art are using 8 Rescale on them. Very simple, guys. Before we jump to the, this team, let me show you the AI for this comp as well. Guys, lock the Arix A2 Rescale and prioritize her A2 skill first. I will show you guys Arix gear detail end of the video. Stay tuned for that. Let me show you guys the comp. This is the Heart Stage 10. Spider 10. <laughs> Why did I say twice? <laughs> for this comp, Arix need 4 piece slayer. I also have a video for this comp. I'm also gonna leave this link below to the video description. I recommend that you guys check this out. It's a detailed uh, information you can get for Arix on this video. Uh, this team, uh, it's like one minute, guys, but it is not turn attack tournament, so we don't care, you know. All right, last 10 seconds left. And there we go, guys. Spider Heart 10. And we are using special tournament condition, which is the Arix from Night Revenant and our food from the Demon Spam faction. So this will be work. Again, you don't you don't need to bring this exactly same food. Any food from these factions can be work. All right, last 10 seconds. All right, under one minute. Let's run one more time so you guys can see it's working. There is very small chance this can be fail, guys, but the chance of the fail is extremely low. But again, like 3%, still part of the game. So be aware, okay? But very low chance of the... Uh, lose guys so i'm farming this team very long time and uh, there is no problem to enable the super rate while you're using this comp super safe i would like to say
All right, last cycle. And it's over, guys. One minute again. Very stable. Let me show you guys the her state real quickly. Like I mentioned earlier, Arix need four piece Slayer set. Uh, and that's all you needed, guys, to make this comp work. Rest of the her gear are totally random, as you guys can see. Her state are looks like that. I recommend that you guys get close to 100k HP. That's very important. Speed. 220, 210 should be okay, guys. Obviously, she need a 100% crit rate. And all she need is, like, this critical damage working pretty well, guys, on my build. You guys don't need more critical damage than that. It's actually bad. You have a more critical damage. So, this stat over there, guys, is working very well, guys. You guys will need, like, 340, 330 accuracy on here. Okay, make sure you have that. Because the... To work this comp, guys, uh, this is always that work. Her A2 skill has 75% chance after you book, which is you need to book this skill. Uh, chance of the place is stun debuff. The chance is not 100%, maybe you guys uh, will be panicked, but because there is a loss of the enemies on the ground, guys, this stun is definitely landing some of them. And when it's landing some of them, guys, this is the second important part, her master is. So this master is over there, guys. Harvest, despair. You guys need this one. So 60% chance. So when she land the stun debuff on the enemies, then there is going to be 60% chance of the place a leech debuff on these enemies. So basically, this is how she's gonna get her HP back. This is how this comp is working. Rest of her masters are looks like that. War master can also work, but. Again, guys, these masteries are working. I recommend you guys to use the same one if you guys want to be safe. So basically, this is how is that work, guys. Like I said, this is uh, there is a, another video about this comp. If you guys are interesting for this comp, I will leave to the video description. You can check this out. Her A3 or the A1 skill probably doesn't need a book for this one. She doesn't need a blessing for this comp, guys. She have a hero soul, but like uh, this is doesn't matter, guys. Okay. This placing doesn't really matter. Masters are important. Her stat and the, her gear is the important four piece slayer you guys need for this comp. And that was it. Either you guys can farm on the stage 20 normal with the any decrease defense champion and the four cold art, or you guys can use Arix solo heart spider 10. Make sure your foot champion also from this faction. If you guys loving my content, uh, please consider to sub my YouTube channel. That will be help me a lot to grow. Thank you so much for the watching. Catch you guys on the next time. Bye bye.